Welcome to John Deere Sprayer's Supplemental Sprayer Full Rinse System video segment. In this training session, we'll discuss the operation of the 4 Series Sprayer Rinse System, focusing on the Full Solution System Rinse Procedure and Operation. A separate video covers the Boom Rinse function. When the same machine is used for more than one crop application, chemical residue from previous applications can damage or contaminate the next crop's application. The 4 Series sprayers are designed with an integrated rinse system to help our customers prevent chemical cross-contamination. It is important to note that just using clean water in the rinse system alone may not prevent chemical cross-contamination. To help address the possibility of cross-contamination, the use of a spray tank cleaner with the machine's rinse system will aid the operator in conducting enhanced clean-out procedures. Precision Laboratories, an industry leader in spray system cleanout chemistry, formulates two solutions that are available from John Deere Parts. Inside Out is a liquid spray tank cleaner that emulsifies and bonds pesticide residue to rinse water for complete purging. Erase is a powerful spray system cleaner that penetrates and removes dried on and oily residue in tanks, sprayer lines, and hoses to help prevent cross contamination. Important note, always read and follow all safety and use information available in the machine's operator's manual, chemical labels, and MSDS sheets pertaining to all chemicals. Read and follow all PPE recommendations within these documents. All chemical residue must be disposed of according to local, state, and federal regulations. This video provides supplemental material and does not replace the operator's manual information and safety instructions outlined within it. A full system rinse should be conducted when the operator is changing to a different chemical application or crop type, when the machine will be sitting unused for any period of time, or any time the machine has been spraying a chemical that may settle out and harden overnight. To start a system rinse process, the operator must go into the Rinse System Setup page located in the Green Star display. Select the number of rinse cycles desired, single, double, or triple, and also the volume of rinse water to use for each cycle, low, medium, or high. The volume setting uses approximately 20 gallons for a low cycle, 30 for medium, and 40 for high. A triple rinse uses most of a full rinse tank for that model machine. After the setup, you can select and start this rinse from the Solution Command Load Station by hitting the keypad Rinse button. Then select the Full System Rinse button on the micro display, which will start the process. Or the process can be started from the setup page in the Green Star display by checking the Start box. It should be noted if you are conducting a system rinse with a 4 series machine that has the manual version solution system, the rinse processes can be accomplished with the same results, but some of the automatic controls are replaced by manual valves that the operator must position and sequence correctly. Reference the machine's operator's manual for more information. Before starting the rinse, Always remember a spray system can contain hazardous material which can cause serious injury or death to you or others. Wear the recommended PPE, Personal Protective Equipment, per the chemical label and MSDS sheet guidelines. Use the rinse system in an area where people, animals, vegetation and water supply, etc. cannot be contaminated. To rinse an entire system, the solution tank must be empty and rinse tank should be loaded with enough clean water to supply the number of cycles chosen on the Green Star Display setup screen. A full system rinse cycle when chosen will shut the main solution tank supply off. Open flow access from the onboard clean water rinse tank and start the machine solution pump to route the clean water flow to the following systems and components in this order. Optional eductor tank and lines. Agitation circuit, which includes a control valve and lines to agitation nozzles located in the bottom of the solution tank. Bypass system, which is used during loading of the solution tank when pulling on. 
Solution tank, which is cleaned by use of supply to rinse nozzles located in the top of the tank. And then strainers, flow meters, and plumbing out to the boom. Here is a demonstration of a rinse cycle. The machine should be at an idle. The operator can then select the enter button from the micro display at the load station or the checkbox in the Green Star display setup screen in the cab. The engine RPMs will automatically increase. The solution pump will ramp up and start routing the clean water flow from the rinse tank through the system components as discussed previously. When rinsing the adductor, the operator must manually open the adductor rinse and sump valves when the display shows that portion of the rinse cycle is being supplied. Starting the rinse from the load station would be preferred in this case, so the operator has immediate access to the adductor controls. The micro display and the Green Star display setup page both will show where in the process the rinse is by a box surrounding that step. During the rinse process, the operator can press the advance button on the micro display to skip to the next step if desired. Also, the cancel button on the display or the rinse button on the keypad can be used to stop the automatic rinse cycle at any time. When the solution tank rinse cycle is reached and completed, an alert screen will warn the operator to spray out the rinse water. You should unfold the boom and spray rinse solution in a safe location where contamination cannot occur. To do this, press the solution pump switch to engage the solution pump. Verify the boom sections to be used are enabled by section switches on the armrest side console. Press the master spray switch on to start spraying rinse water. This is when the boom and nozzles will be rinsed. See Boom Rinse Only section in the operator's manual and video for proper boom rinsing. When you are finished spraying off rinse solution and the solution pump runs dry, a warning to shut off the pump will appear on the Green Star display. When the pump is shut off and warning is acknowledged, the system automatically disables spraying and begins the next cycle if programmed with a double as the number of rinses chosen in setup. The same sequence holds true if a triple rinse was set up once the second rinse is completed. Special note, the triple rinse selection is not applicable to R4045 machines equipped with load command. If a single number of rinses is chosen, the warning screen will display that the solution pump is running dry and to shut off the pump. Engine RPM will revert to the previous level when solution pump is turned off if the throttle position has not been adjusted. All of our four series sprayer booms come equipped with boom section aspirators located on the outer two nozzles of each section. The addition of this feature helps remove air pockets from the boom. However, chemical buildup in aspirators can occur if not cleaned out thoroughly and regularly. To clean, close all nozzles except the aspirator nozzles. Remove the nozzle tip on each end of the boom sections during a boom rinse, as demonstrated. Ensure pump pressure is at 60 to 80 PSI and turn on one to two sections at a time to flush them out. Then open up the other nozzles to ensure the boom, nozzle bodies, and tips are properly rinsed. Note, inspection of the boom pipe internally for cleanliness may be necessary with certain products and sensitive crop types. If the sprayer is equipped with the boom air purge option, to finish purging and rinse residue from the boom plumbing, choose the boom air purge button from the run page on the Green Star display. Then follow the on-screen directions to use the onboard air system to blow the remaining residue out of the boom and nozzles. It is recommended to only purge two sections at a time for maximum air supply cleaning. Consult the machine operator's manual for more information. A clean solution system is imperative for correct machine usage and application. Performing a good system rinse of the sprayer can help avoid chemical crop damage and will also help extend the life of many components on the machine. We hope this short video was helpful please use the feedback loop for additional comments and suggestions. Always read and follow all safety and use information available in the machine's operator's manual 
chemical labels, and MSDS sheets pertaining to all chemicals. Always follow all local, state, and federal regulations dealing with handling and disposal of chemicals and chemical residue.